woken up. Caden has woken up. Caden is gargling with salt water because he's allergic to the cats. Mm -hmm. And look, at we're out of allergy medicine. I went into our little medicine cabinet and there's no allergy medicine. I'm sorry. So we're going to go get him some. But in the meantime, we're playing cards. <laughs> so he's going to have to suffer through while we play cards. And maybe and it's he good. also doesn't like this card game. Oh, and he's that much more fun. And he, he wins, though. He's very yeah, good at it. So maybe every single time. Maybe that's why we need to give him a run for his money. Exactly. And he's let him suffer over there. You feel bad for Caden? He's going to come have a nice weekend. And then <laughs> 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 All right. Rummy it is. They're in, um... All right, now we're having a Sphinx contest. They just run into things. It's like this. All right, Ryan, give us your best Sphinx. <laughs> no, it, it's this just Peabody and Sherman get thrown in the yeah, dungeon. It's just body? And no, they yeah, escape. It goes and all the like, way down and it's like that. And then Sherman, like, does the puzzle wrong, and then they go in the... Oh! That's, that's... No! Why? Right, that's no, pretty good! It's, it's hind legs. It's no, it's hind legs are completely down. Like this. That's what it looks the like. back's more flat. That's pretty good. It's like... That's good. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Kaden, you want to do your best Sphinx? No. I don't know what a Sphinx is. Oh, uh, okay. You okay. see you. Okay. All right. I have no idea what You haven't seen Mr. Peabody and Sherman? I have. Oh, oh, that's what you're talking yes, about. Yes. A Sphinx. Uh, Dad, Katie, and Ryan already gave us their Sphinx. Yeah, I, I would say... Here. Oh, oh, here we go. All right. I'd say... I'd say this. Oh, that's pretty that's, good. That's my best Sphinx. Okay. All right, I'm gonna Sphinx. This is so random. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. I think I might be the back. Because my back is straight. Everybody else has empty back. My back is straight. Okay, okay. Well, after, after looking at a picture. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait a minute, none of us were right. What? Their legs are tucked up behind them because. Oh, and we can't do that because they're animals. Right, because they're animals, because their knees don't bend backwards. Okay. But that is what they look. We could buy a Sphinx if we wanted a two and a half foot long Sphinx for $199. You know who's going to win the Sphinx contest? Edward Alice. and Alice. Yeah. yeah. I bet she's doing her best yeah, Sphinx right now. Doing it right now. Exactly. They're like laughing at us. It's a cat with a person head. Look at her with her little paws way out front. Hi, Aww. sweet girl. Was he out here? Plugged him in a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, sweet girl. Did your brother escape? Did Eddie go somewhere? Uh-oh. She thinks she's in the wild. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then well, we she's show looking her. through the brush. Yes, exactly. I think and we probably ruined her little fantasy by okay, maybe standing we, over her. <laughs> maybe we should go back inside. Because we wouldn't do this in the wild. <laughs> exactly. All of a sudden we show up. Hello? Right in the middle of our dream. She wouldn't have a neon pink stripper. Okay. <laughs> Katie thinks she, her harness is a stripper harness. Okay, baby, you're good. You're good. Okay, we're, go, we're leaving you alone. We'll leave you alone. Oh, oh you she are, wants to survive in the wild because you want scratches all the time. Yes, That's she why you does. couldn't survive in the wild. Oh, yeah. yes. Show us your best things, Alice. <laughs> She's a happy, happy girl. Ow. Oops. Uh, why are you biting me like that? Oh. Why are you biting me like that? Oh, oh. I'm going to start touching your butt. Well, may don't do it. Okay. Maybe she wants to be in the wild. Let her go. No, she doesn't. She wants to be pet. All right. All right. Well, Eddie was going to have to come back. Did you really plug him in? I Oh, like a while ago, but did you ever unplug him? I don't remember. I might have. He's probably upstairs sleeping. Katie and I have been more aware of the product choices that we're making on a daily basis. And when Native reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to try our deodorant? I was like, heck yeah. I already knew that Native was aluminum free and made with simple and familiar products like coconut oil and shea butter. What I did not know is that it came in sustainable packaging. Native's plastic free deodorant uses the same deodorant formula as the classic package, except this one is earth friendly and 100% plastic free. In my three pack, I got the eucalyptus and mint, the lilac and white tea, and the lavender and rose. I have to say, I love all of them and the way they feel and they smell, but my favorite one is the lilac and the white tea. It goes on so nice, it's not sticky and it's very dry when applying. 
Native protects odor all day with 72 hour protection. There's a wide range of scents available and they're always coming out with new limited edition scents. Most recently they came out with a candy shop collection. So you can satisfy your sweet tooth and with an explosion of color and scent with flavors like um, gummy bears, sweet cinnamon hearts, strawberry vanilla taffy. That's super fun. I've never seen that done in another deodorant before. Three plastic free deodorants would normally be $39, but if you use my link and code Donnelly's, you can get them for $26, which is 33% off the normal price. And if you use my code, you can get 20% off any lotion or body wash. I'm definitely gonna share these with Katie. The question is, what scent do I wanna give up? Hey guys, we're back in the <laughs> And if you were on the live the other day, uh, you saw this balloon. Or what was a balloon? What used to be a balloon that I bought so nicely. It's a nice Valentine's Day balloon. And Ryan decided to, what Ryan? What did you do with my balloon? I was boxing it. Decide to box the balloon. Is that what we do with balloons, Ryan? No. What happens when you box a Valentine's Day balloon, Ryan? Well, apparently it breaks. Yeah. And then what'd you do? Oh, I can't let the healing go away, so I sucked it in. I <laughs> so to add insult to injury, not I only sounded, you, you popped funny. my balloon, and then you drank all the insides. Nice. Is it work anymore? No. 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 Uh, and he's upset that I didn't film his um, funny. helium voice. It was pretty funny. But I pretend to be annoyed. All right, you guys, we're having a little bit of an emergency. See what's happening there? That is Eddie's leash with his harness on it, but he's not in it. So Eddie's somewhere and it's not here. So we're hoping that he comes back soon. I'm sure he's fine. He's probably sleeping somewhere. Most likely. But I hope he's not bothering neighbors because I don't want them to get mad and then like call the SPCA or whatever. <laughs> or whoever they call. You know what I mean? Because he's really not allowed to roam, roam free without a leash. Like, he has to be on. I, call PETA. I hope but not. But you're not eating him. Right? So. <laughs> exactly. You need more soap in the bathroom. Oh, I have soap. One of my favorite things is to go on the PETA Instagram page around Thanksgiving. It's really <laughs> funny. Now we have moved to, I keep calling it Scattergories. What's it called? Bananagrams. <laughs> Bananagrams. I don't know why. You know, Dad and I, when we can't think of words, we just make up words. You know that, right? Yes. And Dad they're real words. With this game. Yes. Oh, well. No, but he makes up words that don't, aren't really words. Dad and I at least say words, but they're the wrong words. Like if we can't think of the actual word we're supposed to be using in the sentence that we're speaking. All right. Mike is still at the pool sleeping, I think. Eddie is still lost. Ryan has decided to fall asleep over there. Kaden and Katie and I are the last of the gamers for now. Everybody's showered and we're hoping to go to dinner here soon. Look who came back. Hi, sweet boy. Where did you go? We missed you so much. We were up here playing games and I heard somebody talking to Mike downstairs, so I'm gonna go down and find out. It sounds like maybe somebody brought him back for us. He's Darvin, Marvin. I wish you could tell us about your adventure. Kate, I'll be right back. All right, we just finished our third, I think, game of categories, <laughs> Bananagrams. <laughs> Michael John, did somebody return Eddie? He did, uh, he was next door. Which, which one, which one? So what did they do? Came over and said, hello, is this your cat? And I said, I don't know. <laughs> She said, it's rolling around in my landscaping. I think it peed on my plant. Is that what she said? Yes. Is that what she said? I said, oh, I'm sorry. We tried to keep him over here. It looks like he got out of his collar. And what did she say? I try not to complain. She said that. She did not. Are you serious? They hate us. Yeah, I wouldn't like to see that. So Ed's like, sorry. <laughs> walks in. Did she carry him? No, he was over there. And when I opened the door, he came Thinking maybe the neighbor's not so happy with us. Poor Eddie. All he wanted to do was come home. With us? 
our lazy is it, Saturday is it an easy, continues. It's an easy game. It's easy. We're yeah, playing. Sure. Katie and I are playing Rummy. Katie has fallen asleep on Wait, the couch. Can you play it Ryan yeah. is watching Good Luck Charlie, as we are all watching Good Luck Charlie. Probably one of the best TV shows ever made ever. Mike's downstairs. What we're gonna try to do is go to dinner tonight. We wanna go out to dinner, take the kids out. We're a little tired, but I think we should rally. I think we'd really enjoy it. Rather than stay in, don't you think? You know what Katie's been I mean, trying? I'd rather stay in and then like go out for ice cream or something. But, it's up to you guys. What have you been um, lobbying for for tomorrow? I have a whole plan to go to Disney tomorrow. And it really is a good plan. Like, it really is a really good plan. Katie always plans to go to Disney. Always. There's always a good day. And she's trying to twist my arm, and I don't know what to do. Yeah, but I'm just a really good salesperson. Yeah, I'm she's... a really good convincer. <laughs> she is a good convincer. She basically gets anything she wants. That's not true. Not I, really. I think with your friends, you're probably pretty good at, like, <laughs> yeah, and Kaden. And yeah. your dad. Yeah. And your brothers. Not really Brennan, but sometimes Ryan, depending on how he's feeling. I've gotten better at not falling into her traps. <laughs> You've smartened up a little? Yeah. Uh-huh. She's pretty good at it, though. All right, so stay tuned to Brennan. Oh, we dealt you in, Ryan. Okay. Speaking of that. <laughs> What is that? Is that water? When your Ritz Carlton measles. <laughs> it's a, better than Katie. Well, it's not water. So we're going out to dinner and Katie puts a sweatshirt on and Kaden puts his bathing suit on. Kaden changed out of shorts into his bathing suit and I said, Ryan put on a collar shirt, shirt. I put on my nice watch, shoes, shoes, his watch. I, 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 we are and all. And mom's looking fantastic right Thank now. you. I've got my... What is that? I know, I know. Katie wanted to go to Chick Fil A. We're the only one with any standards around here, really. Thank you. I think they are. All right, guys, we made it to Ford's garage. These are the onions. It's a stack of onion rings. Have you ever had them, Ryan? Well, you sent me a picture of Pat when you got this. Uh huh. I was so jealous, and now I finally get to have it. And then Katie got frickles. She likes fried pickles. Excellent. Kate, what'd you get for your meal? Salmon? Yeah. It looks great. Yeah. All right. The food has arrived and it's ridiculous. Ryan has breakfast and dinner all at the same time. <laughs> There's an egg on my burger. And that's on for I ordered an egg on my burger. But, you know. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> they didn't just chuck that on there as a little <laughs> surprise. But, um,. Listen, when you got an egg on your burger, it's it's a tedious process, all right? It doesn't matter where the white stuff is. You just got to have the yolk front and center, all right? And then you're going to cover the yolk, and you're going to press down on the outsides of the burger, and then press down in the middle. Plus, pop the yolk, and then you're going to pick it up. It's going to drip a little. You're going to drip it up. Or pick it up. Oh, my gosh. It's so messy. And then indulge. And then you can't eat it. How are you? Is it good? Oh my gosh. Kaden, what'd you get? Um, I got a uh, burnt ends brisket melt, I think. That's what Ooh, it's called. that's how, is it good? It is, but I'm gonna get a little more barbecue sauce. So. Uh, okay, a little dry? Yeah. Dry, a little dry. <laughs> Katie, how about you? What you got there? Salmon. Numbers. With little tater tots? Um, Michael John? Yeah, it's it's salmon. salmon. Extra sauce. Mike, <laughs> you guys, Mike eats his hamburgers without cheese. So you need a cheeseburger without cheese. I, I just don't understand how you can eat a hamburger without cheese. Can you, are you with me on that? Hamburger is a hamburger. Cheeseburger is cheeseburger. Okay, I don't understand how you can eat a hamburger. We'll put it that way. Cheeseburger, I'm all about. I got a little baby mini cheeseburger and a side salad. Have you tried yet, Mike? You haven't tried yet? We've done it too. Hey, you haven't tried. I've been eating my salad. Wait, are the fries good? Because can I steal a fry? Yes, you can. They look really good. <laughs> All right. What well, are you, are you going to eat your burger? I am. Would you like to see That's me? It's a great looking burger. It's a little, I got a little baby burger. I was happy a baby burger. Yeah, he said there was a baby burger. Do you like your salmon? Oh, now she's coming. You'll she be happy in the morning. She wants a baby burger. This is really good. Yeah, my food's really good, too. Mm. What a
We are ending the night by playing Euchre, our very favorite game. And so many of you have asked us about how to play Euchre and that we should probably make oh, a video. It is. That'd be a long it's gonna video. be a long one. <laughs> be a long it's one. one of those games where it's like you know it and you don't. And if you want to learn it, it's like it's gonna take you a little bit. Like you might have to pay a fee, and then you know it's a class, and it's and you gotta play. You gotta play. Work, play. Midterm is a final, <laughs> and then you might be able. To get a you get like a doctorate in. But yeah, cards. I grew up in the Euchre family, so you know it was ingrained into me at a young age, and then you know developed as I got older. So now I know, but. It's a it's a process. It is a, a process. It's a hard game to learn. Yes. And it's like if you don't know how to play, it's hard to have newbies play. Now Caden was a newbie for a bit, but now so yeah, he, he he's has, got it going on. He's actually one of the best students we've ever had. He he totally he is. He had no choice really. He yeah. had to either learn how to play or pretty much sit out every single night. Uh-huh. And mm. he's a jack. Oh, oh yeah. nice. That's good. That's, That's lesson one. That's actually question one. <laughs> It's 12 17. We're wrapping down the night. We just got beaten Euchre. But it's okay. Uh, because what made me happy today, what made me happy yesterday, technically, was the Heat winning. My, uh, my boy Brady was at the game, and they won in overtime. It was great uh, to see it. And then we watched it while we were at the restaurant while I was having a great meal. So that's what made me happy today. That offends me, <laughs> but I'm in no part of that what made him happy, <laughs> considering uh, he's an only child when I'm not here. However, um, the meal also made me happy, and uh, company was great, food was great, and also beating them in Euchre. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what made me happy today was watching some Good Luck Charlie. Oh. Oh, nothing better. I love some good old good luck, Charlie. A lot of things made me happy today, but the thing I'm going to choose to say is playing pickleball this morning. So much fun. That's really fun. And, of course, it goes without saying, Katie and Katie being <laughs> here, spending all day. Yes. Yeah, I but can the thing say is, is like, The thing is, is that mom playing pickleball, we weren't there for that. Ryan <laughs> celebrating the Miami Heat game. <laughs> Also the Warriors, the Wizards won. Excellent. Which is my favorite basketball Excellent. Alright, you guys. You probably had a lot of things that made you happy today. If you did not, then hopefully nothing made you sad or mad. If they did, remember the difference between an ordeal and adventure is your attitude. So turn that frown upside down. Thank you so much for watching. Comment button down below what made you guys happy today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.